I found a Julia specific font the other day and I wanna give it a go. In this video, I'm gonna share with you step-by-step -step how to download and install this Julia font to use in the Atom and Juno text editor. My name's Chris and I like to share on this channel the sorts of lessons learned that I'm discovering as I'm going about learning Julia. And this, this new font that popped up had me curious about what exactly a Julia font is. Now in Julia, it's, there's a good way of uh, representing symbols uh, so that it reads like maths equations. Uh, from the founder of Julia, he wanted this language to uh, look like a way people would communicate with each other. So uh, putting the little symbols together, like uh, implication, logical implication is what I'm thinking of, the little equals with uh, an arrow on it, uh, the little ligatures like that, is a, a good way to read the language. So apparently this Julia Mono font takes care of that for you. So I'm gonna take you through how to download that font from GitHub, I've got the link in the description below, and then how to install that on Windows. Uh, so my name's Chris and I like to share on this channel the sorts of lessons learned that I've been through as I'm learning Julia. Uh, the first thing, so the first thing we're gonna do is I've got open on the screen here, the GitHub page. Now there are a lot of fonts here, but I just want the regular one. I, I, not too sure if you download the other ones, if it'll work, but I'll try out this regular one first. So we open that up and hit the download button. Uh, now it is a uh, open font or something. So uh, it has quite a, a liberal license, I think, to use it. You can use it uh, commercially from my understanding. Uh, check out the GitHub for restrictions, but we're gonna save that file to the computer. Uh, and then I'm going to, you can see I did this as a test already, but I'm going to open up that font and install it on my computer. Uh, so Windows comes up with this uh, box that gives you the preview of the font at all the different sizes. Now it doesn't show you the thing that we're interested in, this, this ligature bit where you can type in two symbols and it joins them together. Uh, so one, once I've opened up the font, click the install button and that installs, that should just install it straight away on Windows. Uh, and hopefully it doesn't come up with a yeah, admin prompt or anything like that. So I think that's installed now. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing it. I didn't get this far in the rehearsal for this video. So any mistake that I make, you're learning along with me. Uh, I did, however, notice when I opened up Atom that it was a bit hard to find what we we're supposed to do. Uh, I'm following along the tutorial on this blog post from the guy who made the font. Uh, so what we've done here is we've downloaded it already. Uh, rather than follow his instructions, I just downloaded the font and installed it. Uh, so that's to go to GitHub, click download, open up the font in Windows and Windows will give you that install button option up there. Uh, so now that it's installed, it should be installed, we can open up Atom. Start our uh, Juno within Atom. If you're interested in how I got Atom installed on this computer, I've made another video about that. Uh, so click the link below. These days though, I tend to use Jupyter. So th this font is just for, uh, I'm just installing it for Atom. So for any scripting that goes on in Atom, if you're interested in how to do this in Jupyter, please leave a comment below, because I'm, I'm not too sure that's possible since Jupyter goes into your uh, web browser. But uh, if you're interested in how to install Atom and Juno, I'll leave a link there. And if you're interested in how to install Jupyter as well, I'll leave a link down below. Uh, so Atom's still opening up on this computer. Uh, now I've, I've seen some criticisms that uh, people say Julia is a bit of a slow language. Please, please don't hold that against Julia in this case. My computer's a bit overloaded at the moment recording the, uh, recording the screen at the same time as it's loading Atom. Okay, Atom's come up there. Uh, so we press Actually, before you press enter to start Julia, I might install the font. So to install this font, uh, click on file and then come down to style sheet. And this will open up the Atom style sheet and come down here. I think we put it in underneath this Atom text editor. Now this is a bit I'm not too sure on. I couldn't find anything in the, I couldn't find any instructions prior to this video. So we're gonna have a bit of an experiment. Now what I believe we put in, if we come back to the blog post, is this, uh, so we scroll down to, it, it does give you installation instructions on the blog post for VS Code as well, but it just said to in the Atom style sheet and I assume that's if you select the file style sheet to get there. Uh, so the font family being Julia Mono and that should yeah, default to the regular weight. So we come back to style uh, and put that in there, hit save and does it come up straight away or does it not? Julia has exited. Okay, press end of the start. Uh, no, okay. What's going on here? Why doesn't that work? So I don't know why uh, my Julia won't start. Maybe it's because I've got Julia open in a different window, but the font is installed. Uh, as you can see, uh, Atom updates straight away. So we 
comment this line out and change the font back to uh, the default Atom font, it changes like that. So we can change it to Julian Mono like that by removing the comment line. Uh, so the font family has been applied as Julian Mono. Now I'm going to restart Atom because I can't figure out why my Julia isn't ex is just exiting. It may be because I already had it open in a different window. So bear with me for one second. Okay, and we're back. I finally found the problem. It was one of the plugins was outdated. Uh, so if that happens to you when you're trying to do this, make sure that you go to your Atom settings and update all your plugins. Uh, I've already done the update, which is why there's none there on the screen. So we'll give another second to start up Julia. Okay, Julia's up and running there. I'll make it a bit bigger on the screen so you can see more of it because the fun thing about this font is fun. Font fun, of course. The fun thing about this font is the ligatures. Uh, now let's take, for example, I mentioned earlier the uh, implication. Is that going to... No, okay, great. <laughs> Okay, I've opened up a file, so hopefully you can see at the top here, this is a test file. And what we're gonna do is play around with those ligatures I mentioned. So simply, normally, an arrow like this becomes a ligature like that. And uh, that's what I like about this font, that, that's the reason I chose to install this font, was that it joins these characters together. So it'll join together this, these two to become this one symbol on the screen there. Now this font has a lot of other supported characters as well. We can do triangles. I don't actually know what these are used for. Please let me know in the comments below if mathematically you know what these triangles are used for. And there are supposed to be many more features there as well. Uh, some of the symbols I've found such as the, uh, I think the, the end symbol for the natural set is done properly in this font. Uh, so that's how to get the font installed and, and some of the features of the font. I'm by no means a font or Unicode expert. So I've kind of shied away from showing you some of the main features of the font. But if you're interested, check out the guy's blog post. Uh, I'll leave a link. It's, it's part of the GitHub link below uh, to get a better idea of the sorts of symbols that this font has. Basically, it's a font that's been designed for Julia. So that's a basic overview of how to get this font installed, to go uh, download the font from GitHub, install it on your operating system, and then add it to the file style sheet for uh, Atom and Juno. Uh, please, don't, please make sure your uh, plugins are up to date in Atom, otherwise you run into that same problem I did. And uh, you don't even have to reload Atom after you specify to use the font family there. If you have any questions about how to install a font in Atom or Juno, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, uh, I'll be releasing more videos like this where I share some of the lessons learned uh, that I've learned as I'm picking up Julia as a language. So please hit subscribe, follow along, and hopefully you can avoid the same mistakes that I make. Hopefully, I'll see you in that next video.